An upscaler is a device that takes video from a standard definition source, like this PlayStation, and upscales the picture to fit a high definition screen, whilst trying to cut down on input lag and making everything look extra crispy. Your high def TV probably already has an upscaler in it. The problem with a lot of these are they don't have gaming in mind when they were designed, and therefore suck at the job. What we need is a specialist, something designed to make these old consoles look and play their best. The XRGB Mini Frame Meister is the cream of the crop when it comes to retro gaming consoles, and upscales like nothing you've ever seen before. Unless you've seen the Frame Meister before. This is an incredible piece of kit that works wonders with even the worst inputs known to man. We'll compare directly later, but let's look at its features first. The Frame Meister has one HDMI output and comes with AV inputs, S video inputs, components through D terminal inputs, HDMI inputs. Really, with this many inputs, you can plug in the majority of consoles from the last 30 years of gaming. You can even plug in things that don't need upscaling, like the PlayStation 4. That is, if you just want to play with the color settings. Talking of settings, the last time I saw this many settings on something, NASA were launching it into space. The Frame Meister has features for you to customize every aspect of your experience, like imaging modes, horizontal and vertical stretching, aspect ratio, and insane zoom function. It has inverted colors mode, for whatever use that is, scan lines, retro modes, you can add levels of black and toggle the brightness and color, even directly changing the levels of red, blue and green, and adjusting the gamma, and even more complicated sync and HDMI functions and pass-throughs. But if you buy a new one, it'll probably be in Japanese like the box is, so my suggestion is to find the language function first. Fine tweaking your experience can result in the best picture from your old consoles imaginable, but what you get out of the Frame Meister is only as good as what you put into it. For everything before the PlayStation 2, I recommend SCART cables wherever available. Not the £5 ones you find on eBay. Go to retrogamingcables.co.uk and save up the pennies, because you'll need to. No one ever said retro gaming is cheap. In case you're curious, this is the difference between a cheap one from eBay and one from Retro Gaming Cables. There's an obvious buzz and there's some strange vertical lines that even I didn't notice until this comparison. These guys build their cables very, very well. So yeah. But what's that? How does it fare against other upscalers on the market? Now, it wouldn't be fair to just keep on going on about the Frame Meister without showing you some cheaper alternatives, as well as emulation. But you can feel free to go with, there's no shame in using emulation. However, there is shame with using the AV to HDMI. This is a small device that uses composite cables and has three modes, 720p, 1080p, and off. It's really bright and it seems to create jagged edges rather than pixelated lines like it should. Here's the PlayStation 3 emulation for reference. And now here's the Frame Meister using AV cables. Next up we have this random generic S-Video to HDMI adapter I found on eBay, and this thing sucks. I'm not sure what happened here, but this should not under any circumstances look like this. There is ghosting everywhere, and the colors are somehow dark? It's not the cables, because these are official cables. Here it is against the emulation, and here's the S-Video through the Frame Meister using those same cables. Then we have the generic SCART to HDMI box. I used to use this a lot. It kind of rounds things off rather than squares things up, and there's a lot of blur and it struggles to keep up with movement. Also, it's fairly bright. I know I'm being harsh on this, but the 3D PlayStation titles, it's not so bad. 
It even has an HDMI input for HDMI to HDMI scaling, and that feature is arguably better. Again, here's the PlayStation 3 emulation, and here's RGB SCART through the FrameMeister. The FrameMeister SCART input is as good as the emulation to look at, and I personally recommend the FrameMeister over the PlayStation 3 for some things since the FrameMeister has far less input lag than the PlayStation 3. However, in a cruel twist of fate, the FrameMeister upscaling comes at a cost. Some games change resolution often, like Silent Hill on the original PlayStation here. When the resolution changes when it goes into the menu, the FrameMeister takes a few seconds to display the new upscaled result. And if you're recording, you get a no signal message as the picture cuts out completely during this. In these cases, I'd recommend the PlayStation 3 emulation, as its seamless resolution transitions make it easier to use. This also happened when recording Killer Instinct Gold on the Nintendo 64. Resolution changes ruined my supreme victory, proving nothing is perfect. Finally, we have the Porter Component Upscaler, which I initially thought was pretty damn good after seeing it handle Wipeout Fusion. Though it still loses out a little overall, it's actually pretty damn good. I'd highly recommend the Porter Component device. The FrameMeister is not a casual user device. It's an extremely rare and expensive piece of custom-made technology with flaws of its own. It's an extremely capable piece of tech, and you should weigh up the pros and the cons before you get one. Ultimately, if you've seen any of these units and think they'd be good for you and what you're doing, then go for it. Unless it's the AV to HDMI, then shame on you. Thanks for watching. Happy upscaling.